Uh, our plan is uh, 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 anyone know the word uh, our plan? Our plan uh, basically focus on something that uh, legal requirement. Okay, so like uh, uh, or maybe your promise, uh, you promise to do something. So that is the application that you have to do. Okay, so uh, number one uh, re uh, related to uh, the uh, legal uh, commitment or legal, uh, legal duty. Okay, so you have to do that apply. Uh, number two, apply it means uh, uh, mentor, your mentor promise, your promise to do something. For example, uh, you promise to do something to someone. However, later you might not, uh, you might not want to do, but because you promise to do, so you have to do, even you are uh, unhappy about that. And persist, right? To continue to do uh, something. Persist uh, it means to uh, stay on, to continue to do something, go on. And predominant, I think that you know, uh, having more power or influence than others. You know, uh, like uh, Western cultures might be uh, predominant. You know, uh, to uh, poorer countries. And uh, revival, the process of something becoming being made popular or fashionable again. Okay, Re uh, revival, revival. Okay, uh, so maybe some uh, some language or some song. You know, I think that like uh, the old song of Sensismus, maybe uh, many people they don't uh, they don't listen to that song uh, anymore, especially the young generation, right? But someone, you know, they change uh, the melodies or they change the style or the music because the old music might be uh, much more classic or something like that. So they change that, like that song, uh, still alive, still uh, uh, come back uh, to uh, popular to be popular again. Okay, and uh, suppress. Okay, you press something. Okay, you suppress. Uh, you suppress. Uh, uh, related to the, the law, okay? Uh, the law suppress someone, uh, not allow you to speak out, okay? Uh, that's why you speak out. Okay, and target, to choose a single out for particular purpose, you target something, okay? You target uh, uh, at the end of this year, uh, you're gonna read 10 books, okay? 10 books, for example. Okay, now it is your turn. Okay, uh, and uh, the, okay, let me check this. Okay, number one, word or phrases that are out of style sometimes experience a, a what? Revival, teacher. Revival. Okay. Revival. Yeah, you can see that. Okay. Re revival. Okay. Revival. Okay. Uh, and become uh, popular again. Okay. Good. Correct. Uh, number two, the language spoken by most of the people in the country is Integral. predominant. Okay. So, okay. So, okay. Like uh, now, you can say uh, English is the predominant language worldwide, right? Worldwide, because every country uh, they have the English curriculum uh, to teach in school. Yes, a second language, or yes, uh, the third language, or yes, the official language. Okay, you can see like. Uh, many countries like Singapore, I think that many uh, of you uh, know very well about the Singapore, uh, Singaporean English. Okay, Singapore they have you know not only Chinese language but 
uh, Chinese, I think it's another thing. These are official requirement for the learn. But in case of Cambodia, we have only, uh, I think that uh, my generation, I know, but your generation, uh, you know, my generation, uh, Khmer language is the first, the official, right? Uh, French is the second, and English is uh, the third. You know, when when I started uh, at uh, lower secondary school, uh, English is not the second language. But France is the second language, you know. Uh, but now you can see it change, change uh, from uh, France to English. English is the second language, and uh, France maybe uh, the third language, right? Uh, but now maybe the next maybe uh, France, uh, France is the, the fourth because Chinese uh, come, uh, you know, very popularly, right? Very popular, very well known, something like that. So you can see. Uh, uh, the change of uh, the language. Okay, number three. It's a hard to. Per seat teacher. Uh, to per seat, right? Yeah, teacher, yes. It's hard to proceed the language to certain uh, uh, community and uh, never allow it to spoken uh, outside that place. Okay, so uh, let let uh, suppress the chat. Uh, okay, so you have uh, two answer. Oh, sorry. I think suppress two. Oh, so uh, press this. okay. And let's come back. So, so I, I, I think that uh, we have uh, the certain answer, but yeah, okay, if only like this, not not requirement uh, to answer according to this, okay, any word is uh, correct, you know, persist or suppress. But because the, li the limit, right, the limit here, they just allow you to use only one word, right? So that maybe if you use that word it it might overlap with other uh, items okay other questions other uh, choice okay so so let anyone else apart from uh, persist and suppress i think confine yeah confine ah uh, and fun. Okay, so uh, I, I I just uh, not not uh, one hundred percent. Uh, uh, we have to do that, you know. Uh, in case of uh, verb that have uh, more than two syllables, okay, more than two syllables, uh, the stress uh, syllabus must be the second. Uh, do, uh, do you know about that, everyone? Mostly, you know, the, the stress might be the second, like here, uh, confined, you can see you start the second syllable, uh, syllable. confined, not confined. Uh, so I think that you can check, check. Uh, confined, not confined. Uh, record, yeah, record, not uh, re. Or record, uh, uh, so you can see it's just the the uh, uh, the, the second syllable. Okay, so uh, in English, you know, uh, not one hundred percent, but in general, if uh, that verb has uh, more than one uh, syllables, uh, mostly they stress the second uh, the second uh, syllable. Okay, so I think that is a technique of reading. Okay, because um, you have to know that. Uh, you can uh, give an example of any word that have uh, more than one syllable. Okay. Uh, okay, so... Okay. Uh, so now we have three words, okay? 
one word is Iraq and one three. Okay, number four, the government. Initiative. Initiative, teacher. Okay, you can see that the government initiative uh, can help to create new law or language program in schools, uh, for example. Number five, many people are proud of the initiative. Initiative, teacher. Just uh, remind you a little bit in case of the mo uh, democratic country, you know, democratic country. So they have more room for ethnicity. If you look at in America, you know, you can see every ethnic, uh, every ethnicity around the world. That's all in the US. Okay. Uh, hey. But some some countries might be uh, communist hey. countries. So the press, the universe besides the press. They don't allow you to show so much about your own identity because they need the uh, the uh, solidarity, you know, the solidarity, the unities of the nation. It means they don't want uh, the university to show so much about their own identity, about who they are. So because they want uh, to create the, the unity. Okay, only one. Anyone should be that na uh, nationality, for example. Okay, that is the yeah. racial and cultural background. Number six. Assimilated. Number six. Um, I think target of the I said oblige. Uh, oblige, right? Yeah. Uh, in some parts of the United States, some people want to assimilate. To oblige. Ah, thank you. Okay. So here also, uh, I think that also we have. Uh, other words, other yeah. words that you have to do here. Uh, maybe no. one of the three a moment. Okay, one of uh, 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 suppress, uh, uh, suppress, uh, uh, suppress, persistent, and confine here. Okay? okay. So now it's. Uh, okay. So, so, uh, so pass first. <laughs> so I think that offline might not, uh, might not be correct. Okay, it's yeah. some uh, parts of the United States, some people, one, some people, just do some people, some ethnics, uh, to use the language other than English in public school. For example, um, you know, Mexico, some state, you know, the, the Mexico state, most of them are American Latin. So American Latin, they, they don't use English, they use their own language. So at some school, like uh, if anyone wants to attend that school, they have to study on not only English language, but they have to study uh, the Hispanic language also. So, number seven, learning a new language is one way that people can learn in which or um, assimilate. assimilate. Ah, yes. This I, I think correct. Assimilate. Assimilate. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Assimilate into 
Find it here. Integral, ich höre. Uh, please again. Integral, integral. Integral. Um, the, 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 the,
Yes. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think the uh, uh, the was is what's poor. Okay. okay. Yeah. The was poor. Uh, you can see why many people when they go to the uh, the new country. So they worry about their identity, about their language, about their culture, about their religion. So, so the people that worry are uh, because the people, any people around the world, when they go to the new place, they not go only with the, the property, with money or something like that, but they go with belief, right? religion, culture, value. If you look at Khmer in USA, you can see the, when, when they go there, they build a temple, the pagoda over there. They have the Khmer video over there, right? So they bring that thing with them, okay? You can see that. But when the first generation, that okay, they still maintain the skill, uh, practice, but the, the second, the third person, you can see uh, the ways of practice culture maybe uh, fade away. You know, uh, uh, it's mean like uh, uh, alienated. You know, alien. You know, alien. Anyone know the word alien? Uh, become strange. You know, yeah, yes, it's just yeah, become strange because, uh, like, uh, because the predominant language uh, influence them, right? Uh, uh, that. That new country, that new culture, dominate uh, or influence them, and then they they uh, gradually, uh, gra- sorry, gradually, uh, they was form their culture, their value, their religion, their uh, social norm or something like that. Okay, number ten. So I think that here you get uh, some knowledge, you know, not only about uh, about this is like. The general knowledge that we should know. Uh, number eleven, a person language is like a central and you, you look at here as so they go together, a central and integral. Yes, integral. Okay. Inter- yes, integral. Okay. You can see. Uh, a person, uh, sorry, a person language is like a central and integral part of the culture that you should try to preserve it. Okay, so it's meant the core value. Okay, uh, the center. Okay, the heart. Okay? The heart of the culture. Okay, so we can see that. The hearts of the, the, the cultures or the belief or something like that. Okay, the last one. Some parents do not believe the children should should what? Anyone? So we still have uh, if you come here and this one, and this one. We can find. We can find. Oh, we... uh, teacher, for me, I put um confine. Confine, right? Yeah. 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 Confine is used as a first time, right? Confine. Okay. So, my head on the Let's check the meaning first. Okay. Let's let, let check the. Okay. Confine or not. Okay. Okay. Some parents do not believe their children should be uh, confined, should confine to learn a language other than the one they speak at home. Ako wadai kala, at ban at chit ha kon wakke, ku te, kum not na, ku te, da, kum hat, al rin pia sa, da tay, mu da tay, chiang pia sa, da kin ye na pia. Uh, are you 
sure? <laughs> I'm not sure, teacher. Okay. So if you're not sure, I would like to change. Okay. Uh, change to. Uh, to be. Up. Up line. Okay. So this is the asymmetric correct one. You can see some parents do not believe their children should be. Uh, offline, offline. I, I, I already told you, right? Offline related to, uh, to uh, compulsory, uh, mandatory. You know, mandatory, compulsory, or legal requirement that you have to study. Okay, okay. So you can see when you go to other country. So you follow the the language in that that country. But at home, okay, you might be speak your own language or you speak that language in the new uh, country or society. So I think that there will be offline. Uh, it's much uh, better. Okay, so come here to this one, number six. Number six, uh, the correct one uh, must be suppressed. Suppress. Okay. If you look at the meaning, in some part of the some people want to suppress the use of language other than English in their uh, school. It means if that area, okay, that county has like what well, African American, uh, African American, more than the white people or a Spanish more than white people, African people. So they like to study bilingual or we have to study both and, uh, rather than English, okay? And this one uh, should be confined here because we uh, cut off the choice, okay? Cut off the choice. So it's hard to confine a language to certain community and never allow it to be spoken outside that place. You can see it the meaning. Okay, so do you agree with all these answers? Yeah, okay, so uh, uh, because uh, the answer come from uh, the article, okay? So if you read article, you uh, you can guess, okay? You can guess uh, the meaning. Okay, so uh, do you have any question here? Hello? No, teacher. Okay, so now we uh, preview reading a little bit. Original people of New Zealand are Maori. Okay, the original. Uh, okay, uh, anyone know the original people of the Australia? You know, uh, who, who, uh, who are the original people of Australia? Anyone know? Maori people, teacher. Maori, yes. But here about New Zealand. So uh, in uh, Australia, the same, right? Okay. Uh, actually, the original people of Australia are uh, Aboriginal. You know, Aboriginal. Oh, 
but now you can see uh, Mon just a little bit, okay, in uh, the, at the northwest of Cambodia or something like that, okay, you can see, and like uh, in South Vietnam, right, you can see, in South Vietnam, who are the original people of, uh, of South Vietnam? Um, I think Chinese, China. Chinese, China. Uh, are you sure? South Vietnam. You know South Vietnam. You know South Vietnam. Southern Vietnam. I think my mom also did you. Yes, my crown, right? That is the original people of of of. of uh, of uh, Vietnam, uh, okay, uh, Khmer, okay, Khmer crown. Like uh, in uh, northeast of uh, Thailand, you know, the original uh, people of northeast uh, Thailand are uh, Khmer, Khmer Le, right? Surin, Buri Ram, Korea, uh, Sisket, all are original people, right? So, so you can see, see like that. So okay, not not not, uh, not bad if you know some about uh, you know our background. Okay, that's good. Okay, so uh, skim the page from the website. Answer these questions. Okay, I actually we want you to read the website uh, and look at the information from the website. Who is the web page written for? Actually. Uh, we're talking about the original uh, peoples of New Zealand. So you have to look at maybe uh, uh, Wikipedia, okay? And number two, where in the text do you expect to find the main ideas? So for this one, I think that we have skipped, okay? Uh, if you are interested, you can check just uh, Maori people, okay? Uh, Maori, Maori people. So you can show uh, the background information are uh, the language of the Maori in New Zealand. You can see uh, most of uh, Maori language speak in the rural area, right? In the countryside. Okay? And the people at that time, they learned English because they want to get a job. Because the job in the city, and in the city, they use English. But after the World War, okay, the World War II, like, Many people realize that, oh, our language is important. If you don't uh, preserve that language, it is God, okay? It is God. It will, uh, be, uh, it, it, uh, it will disappear, okay? Something like that. Okay, so here the article, you can, uh, anyone can uh, summarize a little bit about this article uh, based on your understanding. The history of the Maori language. Any one of you? Uh, I think that if you you read, I think that you uh, you can remember some. Right? Not not one hundred percent are the same, but uh, you can uh, uh, summarize. You know the central sense of the uh, Maori language, which means uh, the big pictures of the Maori language background. You cannot see. Any one of you uh, want to try? This article, they focus, you know, a little bit before uh, the World War II, okay? And then uh, during the World War II and after the World War II and until now, okay? So uh, they talk uh, briefly about, so they have the, uh, the paragraph here, okay? You can see paragraph number one, 
the headline, the sub, the, the subheading, the class and the mm -hmm. Y1. You can see it means uh, after the language decline, uh, many people uh, don't, uh, are not interested uh, so much in that language. And then uh, the people, they see that, they see the declines of the language. And you can see the people who uh, come from the rural area, uh, go to the city, right? And they, they lost connection with their own community. And like they use English rather than uh, Maori because they go to work, right? So you can see uh, the decline. And then some people uh, start to realize that, okay, if they don't connect their own culture, their language to the uh, the community or the you know, their own community in the rural area, that language must be gone. Okay, you can see that. And you can see Maori a common means of a communication. So you can see uh, the people they start to have a common uh, channel of communication in uh, Maori. And later the government, you know, like uh, announced Maori is the official language, not only English, but uh, Maori is official language. And uh, the New Zealand people uh, must study uh, along, you know, English and Maori uh, together. Okay? I study English along with Maori or Maori along with English okay? to reserve uh, the a local language, the original language. And you can see here, okay, this is the, the map of the New Zealand. Anyone know uh, where is New Zealand located? I think it's near Australia. Yes. Uh, which which direction? Which part of Australia? Sure, next to uh, Australia. But which part? Which direction of uh, Australia? I don't know, teacher. <laughs> oh, good. Okay. So yes. Um, east, the, you know. The east. Uh, east. East. Yes. I east think east of uh, Australia. Uh, Australia. But, but next to because like uh, the uh, commute or travel mostly in the past by by ship right, by boat okay and they share some uh, culture some value yeah, between Australia and New Zealand okay you can see this and okay another topic okay you can see what's the best school okay Marie was the best in school teacher for more informal so that Mary youngsters should assimilate with their wider community you can see the success the same like okay we have to study that language okay both for more informal uh, because like the other people I don't want to study their own language right because okay if you know only Mary maybe you cannot get a job in the city Okay, so you can see, okay, uh, okay, the last sentence, seed of change, okay, uh, uh, the law of the city, okay, it means uh, the interest of the city, okay, and uh, the seed of change, okay, so look at, from 1970s, many Maori people reasserted their identity as Maori, uh, you can see that. Maybe sometimes they go to the city, they don't tell, they don't want to identify the Maori, right? Uh, so after that, many people start to uh, to see the importance of their own culture. So they reasserted their identity as Maori. 
I think that is very important. You know, I I uh, I experience a lot with that when I I live in Thailand. Many Khmer people, Khmer people, they don't uh, want to say they are have the root of Khmer. They don't want to say they are Khmer. Their parents are Khmer. They just say, "I'm Thai. I'm Thai. I'm, I'm very proud of Thai." You can see that because of of different, not not a requirement, right? Not obligation. So they they start to lose their own their root, their identity. Even I will come in the future, maybe if you don't uh, give or someone maybe go abroad, just don't identify the young and they come from Cambodia or something. Because like Cambodia is a poor country, the poorest country in in the world or in the South Asia or something like that. You can see? Okay. So uh, the important not the other people uh, uh, to look at you. The important ourselves, right? That people, uh, their own self. Okay. So the crowds of what they, they are not. So so I think that uh, this one teach a lot about uh, how to preserve their identity, how to be proud of their own uh, identity. Okay. Okay. So do you have any question here? Right? No, the chair. No, the chair. Oh, very good. Get all right. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, uh, okay. I have one. Just want you to share something. You know, not only me uh, talking about that. Okay. So, this is uh, a good way you uh, you have to uh, to share. You know, you have to set a light. You know, on. Uh, this article, okay, because actually in the 21st century, teacher, uh, just uh, as the facilitator, you know, just facilitator to learn in the class, not uh, the how to say, not the uh, teacher centered instruction or teaching, you know, but this is some kinds of uh, student uh, centered learning. Okay, so if you don't have any question or something to share with the class, uh, we have a look at our main ideas. Okay, I believe all of you read that, okay? And I believe so, okay? Okay, so you look at here. Uh, main idea might be subheading with the correct main ideas on the page 36. You have the 36, okay. Uh, okay, we have how many? A until G, right? I so think, I give I you think later. One, later, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, look at this one. Seven, okay. So we have seven uh, sentences or messages uh, that you have to. Uh, this is uh, take away from the article, okay? So I give you five minutes uh, to read. Uh, okay, so you can go back to read in the article in, okay, which which part, which uh, subheading uh, is uh, it is here. Yeah? For example, A, after English became the dominant language, Maori uh, was suppressed and many Maori had to learn English. So you can see uh, a moment ago I went to talk about the suppressed. Uh -huh. This is the main idea. So I give you five minutes. 
give you five minutes, okay, to read. And if you are not sure, you can go back to read uh, the article. Teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay, so yeah, so okay, uh, that is the the limitations of online education. You know, uh, if in a physical classroom, it's okay. I might ask anyone in the classroom, but uh, here I think that uh, 
know, some people are, might, might be uh, the whole class, you know, from the beginning until the end of the class, uh, never answer one question. Sure, 100 percent, you know. And not only my class, but uh, it might be the other class too. So please try, you can try to uh, to answer. It's not, uh, it's not a lie and death matter, you know. Uh, it's not a life and death matter, matter is la you know? uh, But it's about, you know, uh, uh, participation in the class. Okay, so, uh, that is, uh, uh, that is the good. That is the limitation, right? Okay. Okay, so, okay, everyone now, okay, uh, number one, declines I see, revival. I think later, B, teacher. B, right? Yeah, teacher. Okay. After English became the dominant language, Maori was suppressed and many Maori had to learn English. Uh, uh, the Maori language has been period of Jews and disuse over the last two centuries, but it is currently undergoing a revival. I think that okay. Uh, you are correct, number one. Okay, so you can see uh, decline and why one, right? Okay, but how about number two? A common means of uh, communication. Number two, letter D. Yes. Letter D, teacher. Because uh, uh, European uh, was uh, the colonial, right? Uh, colony, right? So, and if uh, they wanted to communicate with the local people, and they have to uh, use uh, Maori language. Okay, good. I think that you know you can see it in the same case in Cambodia. Uh, how, how, how many years uh, did uh, France colonize Cambodia? Anyone know? Ninety, teacher. Ninety. Ninety years, right? All, almost one century, right? You can see almost one century. Uh, but luckily, uh, luckily they, they, they left our country. But in the case of New Zealand, you know, the, the European uh, did not leave the country. They just uh, settled out, you know. Uh, settled, uh, you know the word settled out, right? Tang uh, no uh, time settled out in in Australia, uh, in New Zealand. Okay. So uh, our country is uh, lucky. Okay. So okay. Good. 